Hi friends and welcome for joining us at Book a Day for Little Learners. Today we're going to read about Lunar New Year, which is celebrated January 22nd, 2023. This is a book by Hannah Elliott, illustrated by Alina Chu. On the first day of the Chinese calendar, the new moon is in the sky and the stars shine bright. It is time for a big celebration. The festival is known by many names, Chinese New Year, Spring Festival, and Lunar New Year. It marks the passage of the harvest season and celebrates the coming spring. Each new year is represented by one of 12 different animals of the Chinese zodiac. The animals are the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Let's see if we can find those animals. Each of those animals represents specific years. So let's see, the first one is the rat. Oh, I see the rat over here, I spy the rat. Can you find the ox? An ox is a large four hoofed animal, similar to like a cow or a horse. Do you think that one's the ox? Tiger, a tiger has stripes, it's a type of cat. Do you see it? Find the tiger. That's the tiger. Rabbit. The rabbit is near the tiger. Rabbit. Dragon. The dragon is very large. Dragon. Snake. S snake. Horse. The horse is drawn in an interesting way. You don't actually see the legs, the horses of the leg. The legs of the horse. Do you see the horse? Can you find the horse? Yes, this is the horse. A goat. I wonder actually, I think this might be the goat. And actually this animal over here is probably the ox. What do you think? I think I was wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. So goat, monkey, if we say that's the goat, do you see the monkey? Monkeys have really long tails and they like to swing from trees. Monkey. The rooster, roosters we typically find on a farm and they wake everybody up in the morning. They say, Cock -a -doo -doo. you can find roosters other places than farms. I don't live in a, on a farm and I hear a rooster in the morning. Dog. Lots of people have dogs as pets. Do you see the dog? The dog has a bone next to him. Mm -hmm. That's the dog. That's a white dog. Maybe your dog is a different color. I have two dogs and they are black in color. And a pig. Do you see the pig? There's the pig. The pigs say oink oink. Before the New Year celebrations begin, we clean our homes and ourselves. This symbolizes washing away anything bad from last year and starting fresh. So they kind of do what in America is called a spring cleaning or a deep cleaning where they pick up the rugs and they probably take the drapes or the curtains off and they wash and clean those. They dust in places that maybe they don't dust all the time. They're getting rid of maybe books that they don't use anymore. And then they take care of themselves, right? Just paying extra special attention. We feast and celebrate with our families because Lunar New Year is about preparing for good luck in the coming year. And it's also about family and honoring our ancestors. Ancestors means the people in your family that came before you. So it would be your grandparents if they're no longer living, your great grandparents, your great great grandparents. So all the people that came before you in your family. Many of the holidays traditions come from a very old tale. 
a tale is another word for a story. There is an ancient Chinese legend that tells of a monster named Nian, who had the head of a bull and the body of an ox. Once a year, Nian would come out of hiding and scare people. Ooh, I don't think I'd want to be scared by him. Look, ah. Oh, he's kind of, seems kind of mean or mad, doesn't he? Let's hope he's just misunderstood. Look at, he's like terrorizing the village people. But the monster was afraid of three things. The rap, loud crackling of burning bamboo or firecrackers. The firecrackers. The color red, you see red all over this page. And the bright light of lanterns. So three things that the monster was afraid of. And so this in America we would use for 4th of July. You would light them and they make, these would not make crazy loud booming sounds, but fireworks make very, very loud sounds. And then they have the color red and lots of things that are the color red. And then the bright lights of the lanterns. And these lanterns are strung in restaurants and around people's houses. And there are lights inside them. They also have lanterns that you can send up into the sky that are very, very pretty. Look, the people who celebrate Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year have instruments. They have drums and cymbals. They look like they're having a party with lots of beautiful music. Today we light bazu or firecrackers, lanterns and fireworks, and we hang red signs with blessings to keep neon away. And so that's what we do on 4th of July here in America. We kind of cover our ears, don't we? Because the firecrackers can be so loud. The fireworks can be so loud. Red symbolizes good luck. We also display other things that represent luck, such as the Chinese character fa, elaborate knots, so that's the way things are tied together, and paper cuttings with beautiful words or pictures. The Lunar New Year celebrations last 15 days. During the first days, we visit our friends and family and we stay up all night enjoying the company of one another. Wow, could you stay up all night, friends? I know sometimes to your mom and dad and your caregivers, it probably feels like it. But many of us, I think, would fall asleep at some point during the night, even if we wanted to stay up and have a big party. Do you see them celebrating and how they celebrate with family and food and fireworks and firecrackers? We eat dumplings filled with all sorts of delicious meats and vegetables. Friends, do you see they're making dumplings? Have you had dumplings before? I've eaten dumplings before. They are delicious. I really enjoy them. Because the dumplings are shaped like Yan Bao, an ancient kind of money, we hope that they will bring wealth and prosperity in the coming year. So these look like coins or money. And so that's one of the reasons they're in that shape, to bring prosperity or um, enough wealth or enough money to take care of yourself. Children also receive red envelopes with money from their parents, grandparents, and other family members and friends. These are called Hong Bao. So they get a little red envelope and it has money in it and then they open them and the money is theirs to keep, usually to save. This tradition came from the legend of an evil spirit called Su. Parents used to thread eight coins on a red string and place them under their children's pillows to protect them from the spirit. Do you see this mom has the eight coins on the red thread? And remember the red is the lucky color? Oh look, there you can see him. What do you think about him? I wouldn't want him to come see me. On the 15th night, the full moon returns, you see the full moon right there, to the sky and we honor the end of Lunar New Year with the Lantern Festival. We celebrate with parades led by people dressed as dragons and lions. These animals bring us good fortune and luck. And so do you see how this is, that's like a headdress or a costume and then there's a person under there. And these can be really, really large. The 
the dragons and the lions. And so there are people who hold them up on sticks, so they're quite high. But see how large that is compared to the people? So they're very, very large and very elaborate. They're very, very pretty. And we gather once more with our friends and family to eat sticky rice balls. This special food is round like the full moon, and it reminds us to live the new year in harmony and happiness. Again, they're celebrating with lots of food. You see the decorations they have. Some of them are red. Some of them are the coins. But this is a time to celebrate Lunar New Year's, Chinese New Year. It's a time to celebrate with families the coming of the spring and all of their blessings. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the Lunar New Year. There are other Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year stories in our collection, so please check those out if you're interested in learning more about the Lunar New Year. I sure would appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe so you can have access to more of our read aloud stories. There is of course no cost to subscribe. Thanks for joining us at Book A Day for Little Learners, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.